quiet on the outside, anything but on the inside. Machines cut, bend, and punch day and night here at Midwest Machine Products in West Arvada. We're primarily a job shop for sheet metal, machining, and laser cutting. So in a nutshell, we don't have our own product. We build other people's products for them. The family-owned and operated business began with Paul and D. Guernsey in 1969. Paul had a gift for the machinist end of it. He decided when I was about five months pregnant that he was going to start the business, it was our third, and came home and announced that to me. Uh, we then sold our house and he had $5,000. He gave me $500 for housing and he took the $4,500 and bought a mill and he had already bought a hacksaw and I found a $20 drill press, Craftsman drill press, at a garage sale and that's what we started with. They opened the doors to Midwest Machine in a small space on West 56th Avenue. It was just my wife and I, and uh, we did everything in the beginning. But year after year, the company grew. In the 70s, it expanded with a move to Gray Street in Arvada. The family expanded again, too. The 1980s brought the Guernsey's fifth child, son-in-law Steve, a new laser machine, and a move to their current facility, which they later expanded again. These days, family members reflect on how they shaped Midwest machine products as much as it shaped them. We spent our summers, our whole time after school and everything, mostly down here. And it really taught us how to manage our time, how to um, tackle problems, how to, how to get things done and um, work together. I've grown up in the company. I'm the oldest of five children. And um, I was seven years old when my dad started the business. Back then, she and her brother crumpled newspapers to be used for packing products. They got paid a dime or a quarter for a bag full. Every child has worked here. Their mates, the grandchildren, one time or another, have all had different times when they have worked here. Nowadays, the company employs about 60 people, including several family members, who oversee various parts of the business. Paul is still at the helm, Dee still handles accounting, daughter Debbie is the office manager, Michael is the estimator, daughter Cindy is the purchasing manager, and son-in-law Steve is sales manager. Valued employees have stayed with the company too, some for decades. And so, you know, it's really a team effort. We couldn't do it without our employees, so we appreciate their efforts and the longevity-ness of their being here. The sprawling 90,000 square foot facility is filled with automation and robotics that meet their growing customer demands. Paul believes a lot in robotics, so what we have here, you know, don't look like a formal robot. You've got a sheet loader picking up a sheet and uh, measures it, it's ready to go. So now what you're looking at is a, a punch there, actually punching the holes into the sheet metal. I think uh, the reason we grew is uh, we tried to produce a very quality product and on time, which is most people's real concern. Flexibility plays a key role too, says Steve. We're concentrating on 15 to 20 other people's businesses, so, so the needs change daily uh, for all of our customers, uh, needing parts sooner. Now more than ever, the company values its business relationships. Many customers are local Arvada businesses. Wadsworth Control, they're in the greenhouse industry, and uh, Mark 7, they're in the car wash business, and Wanco, they're in the aero direction board sign and message board sign for the road construction. So what we do is build components for them, and uh, we ship it to them, and they finish integrating it and assembling at their plants. And every day, Midwest fills a 42-foot semi-truck with components for their current largest customer, Train Commercial in Pueblo. It makes heating and air conditioning units. We do a Kanban system with them. Empty carts come off. Carts from the previous day we fill and put back on. And the truck heads out again. 
takes a lot of equipment to keep all the projects going, from lasers to punches and more. And every day is different. You come down here and you learn something new every day. From humble beginnings to a thriving business, the Guernsey family now looks back fondly upon their accomplishments. My dad is awesome. Starting from scratch, starting from just a little bin that we had, a little bay, and just building it into something huge. I think he's amazing. It's given us uh, a chance to really be together and see the company grow and accomplish a lot of things. They all have very good work ethics, and so uh, I think it's, it's great to look back on and see it.